Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist, drawing a Maine Coon kitty here sitting. And I'm just mapping in the initial shapes right now. Just correcting as I go. Just getting a feel for the gesture of this cat. Maine Coons have that really big muzzle, don't they? And that rough, the mane. Just really feel my way through it more than anything. You know, I'll shape that mouth. Things just start to appear. Put some eye lines in. Now I'm just feeling out where those eyes go using the eye lines that I made. brings kitty to life getting those eyes in there doesn't it I did a lot of fussing over the ears on this one which I try not to do but you know sometimes we fall into that and it's all about practice too it's learning and I carry all that knowledge that I gain forward to my next drawing I love to hear from you so please drop me a comment about yourself or your cat or just about what you want to learn about cat drawing and I'll do my best to get it on here. Or tell me where you are in the world. It's really cool to connect with people from all over the world on here. It's really strengthening up the lines now, the one, the important lines. fix those toe lines just a hint of toe lines I don't worry too much about getting them exactly where they are I just get a feel for it what I know about cat toe lines and it just comes a lot from experience drawing cats lots and living with cats those really add expression don't they there I go fussing over the ears again some hint of tabby stripes in there and we are going faster now we were going 2.5 times the speed and now we're going four times the speed I fussed over those ears so much sometimes we should just leave well enough alone because the best drawings look drawn that initial gesture it's easy to overdo it, but also overdoing it is how you learn too sometimes. Thanks so much for watching today, and we'll see you next time.